She battled cancer, but in the process made some big sacrifices. Today, a Grand Prairie woman had the wedding that she never thought would happen. Here's Kevin Reese. And I said, baby, you know, the lump that I've been going to the doctor for is breast cancer. When I first met Nikita Ferguson last month, it didn't take long for the tears to fall. Recounting the day she found out she had breast cancer and had to tell her 10 year old daughter. She says, Mama, you're going to die? And to hear your child ask you if you're going to die? At that point, I didn't know. She also had to tell her fiance, Fred Morris. They decided to cancel their wedding because a life and death battle had to come first. You know, why don't we utilize our strengths and our talents? But Rebecca Hackle and the Society of Wedding Professionals found out about Nikita and that in her two year cancer fight had started a nonprofit to shower other cancer fighters with gifts to make their cancer journeys easier too. Be whatever support I can be to others um, battling the same road. If anyone on that road ever deserved a free wedding, it was Nikita. So Sunday afternoon at Hidden Creek in Heath, the Society of Wedding Professionals did just that. Nikita descended a second floor staircase, tears flowing again. He says love is patient and kind. And in front of family and friends, she and Fred finally exchanged their vows. Nikita pausing only once for the sickness and health part, which means more to her than most people could ever understand. To love <laughs> and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. But when Fred used the pastor's handkerchief to dry Nikita's tears. Go for it. And when the final announcement was made. Fred and Nikita Morris. These all became tears of joy. It's like a dream. And I like to say is I'm just so grateful to God. Because my road's been long, but if it was this was the end of it, I'm glad I made it. This has just been the best experience for us, all of us. And yeah, we're, we're in love with it. We found out that Fred does not like to be interviewed, but he does like to dance. Mr. and Mrs. Fred Morris dancing now through life, through sickness and health to wherever their road takes them next. I couldn't have even imagined a day like this. You know, it still feels surreal and maybe it'll feel real tomorrow, but I'm just thankful to God for today. In Heath, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News. Well, they look so happy. The Society of Wedding Professionals hope to make this kind of a gift an annual tradition. Still to come here, a college contract.